Why is the situation? Because if the nations of the world come and say, you guys are conquerors, you guys stole this land from the nations, and you're, le- and you're now living here, occupying the land, if they ever say that, who would believe that they would say that, right? Welcome to the pod. In the end of the day, like, right? Like, why do we have this land? It's written in the Torah that, you know, the, right? The Torah starts with the, the story of the creation of the world. How Hashem created the, the, the heavens and the stars and the moon and the land and the fish and the sea and everything. And right at the beginning, the first commentary that's printed in every single Jewish Torah, every single Torah, the first commentary from, Ra- from Rashi is, why did the Torah start with the creation of the world? If the Torah is a book of mitzvot, a, a book of commandments and telling the Jews and the, and the world how to live life, then it should have start, started from the first commandment, from yeah. right to, to sanctify the moon which is two books later. So why does it start here with the creation of the world? And Rashi brings a Midrash, Amar Rabbi Yitzchak. Rabbi Yitzchak said that, why is the situation? Because if the nations of the world come and say, you guys are conquerors, you guys stole this land from the nations, and you're, le- and you're now living here, occupying the land, if they ever say that, who would believe that they would say that, right? A thousand years ago, a rabbi wrote this, wow, that's uh, quoting a rabbi that was a thousand five hundred years before him. If the Jews ever say, if the non-Jews ever say this, you'll be able to say them what? Just like God created the whole entire universe, He created the land of Israel, and if He took it from the goyim and gave it to the Jews, He has the permission to do that. It's His land, and no one can say anything. So that shows that it, it's not even our land. It's not even our land. We, like, it's not our land. This is God's land, and He's decided. And after 2,000 years of only being a few hundred Jews here, it's time we come back home. It's time we come back home. It's the easiest time ever to live in the land of Israel. And the gates are open for us. It's like your job, like your shop, the the guy that owns the shop, that owns the Golan distiller. He's like, I want to give this to you. Like, you're going to, like, run it. This is a big responsibility. (laughs) 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 L'chaim. to that. I don't know if uh, the L'chaim's in celebration or in order to pass the... The warrior of all the responsibility, but but like the, the responsibility is like you want to have this job, like you have a job to do, like this is like mine, but like I trust you, I know you can do something with this. But there's a purpose, right? The purpose but there's is a purpose. to make yeah. business, to grow the business, yeah. to make sure people are taken care of, represent exactly. me properly in my story, and I'll I'm not even gonna be here, right? I'll be watching over you, I'll be helping you, but I'm not getting involved. That's exactly what Hashem is doing with us, and if we don't act accordingly. God forbid, right? We we just went through two thousand years that we were pushed out because of the, what happened during the first two temples. Yeah. Now we're finally back. We have a mission here. I was just reading as well that, like, it, imagine you have a, a ship, right? You have a ship. I would like to. Oh, that would be great. A nice yacht. <laughs> imagine doing a podcast on a ship. <laughs> Hello, guys. We could do it. <laughs> Let's go rent a yacht in Hitzelia. <laughs> um, but imagine a ship, right? And you have like you know the whole crew and everything. The ship is broken. So you can fix the ship and it and it goes, right? And you get to your destination. Great, even if it's broken, no problem. But what about if you have a completely perfect ship? It works. Everything's great. Brand new. But it can't make it to its destination. What's the purpose of huh? It's not even worth it to even set out to sea. No. Just may as well stay in the harbor. So that's exactly Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael for us is our tool. It's the way that we can best be a, a Jew in the world and fulfill our mission. And if we're not doing it, and if we don't try, we're not trying to get to the destination, what is the help that we have the ship? What is the help that we have this land if we're not going towards the destination? I like how Rabbi Rome said it in uh, his video. Go check it out. Amazing video about the Israel-Palestine conflict. He says, like, if we're not, like, what, what we have no right to live almost there if we're not doing our job then why are we there like why are we here we're here to do a job and like for years and years we're like trying to figure things out here and nothing's working obviously like f- for years we have a conflict here like every five to six years another war another war and now we just had a war we're all it's not, it looks like it's it's finishing hopefully but what then you know in five years another war why 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 we have to go through this because we're not getting it that it's not 
we're not just here to just like chill. <laughs> You're not just here to like be on the to beach. Make money ways. Yeah. Rudy says this is what Rudy Rockman always says is like very nice. We made ways. We make all of this cancer <laughs> research. We make amazing things that Focus save on. the world, right? It's great. Yeah. But that's not it. There's, There's so much more. more. This is more. our land to live in, to be fulfill our dream, to become real the, the nation that we're doing. We're, we're lied to the nations. That's literally what we're supposed to be. Uh, 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 uh,